It's the gang talking, gang talking, gang talking podcast. Gang talking, J Stu, J Stu, T Raw, T Raw, Big Fifty, Big Fifty. Never know who you got in the building with us. We be laughing, vibing, chilling. And you know we got guests with us. Welcome back to another podcast. Vlog gang, gang talking. Gang talking episode 95. It's your boy J Stu, man. Across from me, I got my boy Big 50. Big 50 on God. Mr. Red Cup, put your red cup up, you know. And today we got a special guest, man. We got Debo in the building. Dr. Debo in this biz, 954. What's that? We said, I'm Debo? Dr. Debo. Oh, my bad. I'm a doctor at this. <laughs> 50 claim was as, as his uncle. I'm an uncle, right? Okay. Yeah, 50 say he's an uncle. And you already know, man, at the producer desk, we got t Row. Gang, gang, gang. You already know it, though. <laughs> Going on. This nigga. Got the whole desk to himself. You see how we doing it, man. We doing it different now. Nah. Feel all the way official, man. This shit is so inspiring. It's nice. Bro, I mean, it's inspiring, bro. Respect it. I respect yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You know, coming in here, you told me earlier that you was an artist. Right, right, right. Yeah, man. So I, I wanted to actually get into that. But before that, tell the people a little bit about you and 50, because I know 50 brought you in, man. That nigga call me Adrian. You call me, bitch. You don't get a police. I'm your uncle. I'm going to call you by your real name. <laughs> These niggas get federal. <laughs> 50 went to school with one of my, one of my ex a long time ago. But that's how we met. Because I was whooping people ass on Madden. Oh, shit. And then she was like, one of her, her classmates be whooping people ass on Madden. And then I played him, eat his ass, and we've been locked in ever since. Get them sorry ass cowboys, but but um, it grew into some. We had these crazy Madden leagues. I wish we could have had it. If we had podcasts back then, we could have podcast that league, Bruh. boy. Not even you could have put that shit on Twitch. Cause the franchise, yeah. bro. We just yeah. playing, bro. Dog. Was, I don't think y'all understand, man. bro. So much shit was getting talked. Niggas was in their feelings right. because we had a. It was through a group message. Mm -hmm. So many, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm everything going. Oh my god, me and the yes, motherfucking yes, shit. Oh my yes, god, <laughs> I'm gonna stir in the pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. know Fifty's a. <laughs> A classic instigator. Yeah, too, yeah, I couldn't do it. Though. I rage quit every day. Hey, bro, EJ was in the nigga call you breaking controllers and shit. Man, no, Cost it crazy. Hell nah. Nah, I think little Terry had beat Ratchet. Ratchet yeah, was yeah. so mad. Yeah, he had a brand new born baby. He would not fucking hold his baby. Man. <laughs> he could have hold his own dad. Yo, that's a different level that's over there, how, bro. That's how serious it was, bro. Nah. If if F them kids was person in the nah, field, if, 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 if people that lose that never lose rage out oh, everybody yeah. that like niggas that be wrong that lose that because i lost sometimes yeah but niggas now that never lose when they lose oh they my lose, god yeah, temperature temperature like a little girl boy nah. Shit. What? and i know it was that deep. they called me you a fuck nigga anyway you fat ass god, <laughs> yeah, god, why you so bad you know oh, give a fuck you can't hurt my feet yeah. So yeah, why you so mad, bro? I would all put that little that Richard Sherman in there and fuck him up. Why you mad? Yeah, arms and you know, with that, how they start doing the gifts, the gifts, whatever that shit called it. Just yep. So nah, that them days sound lit. Like when he, what Madden y'all talking about? Which one y'all started off on? We did 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 was the last one. Right? Oh shit. Yeah, that was the prime years, man. If y'all was recording back then. Y'all yeah, yeah, would already been big. If already. we knew, but if I if I knew about that, mm -hmm. and the way I used to talk on the mic, and oh, man, God. we could we ought to be monetized by now, bro. Yeah. Oh, bro, way past monetized. It was, it was too funny. It was too funny. We used to cry laughing, bro. Tears, real tears. <laughs> we used to be so freaking happy, making, making so much money, <laughs> to the point where they hated that shit. <laughs> Yo, like, yeah, like, that's real like, shit. That's real like, shit. Man, you should be happy, man. Why are you so happy, bitch? Like. They weird, bro. Yeah, no. They nah, don't. that's just, that's not every woman. Every woman, whatever. Nah. Real shit. No, they are. No, no, fuck no. Because they, listen, at the end of the day, women won't admit it, but they don't appreciate us, like, showing certain levels of emotion. So it's like, for us, it's like, nah, there's certain, certain things reserved for the guys. Hey, at the end of the day, you gonna catch feelings. 
<laughs> when I talk the truth. Yeah. With the boys, like, it's all logic, man. It's All that shit is like, we know what it is, bro. It's funny as hell. Yeah, man. But, you know, pivoting off that, though. So, y'all met over Madden. But, like, y'all was talking earlier about, like, the kids and all that. Then y'all started, like, hanging out. And how you came to know him as, like, an artist and stuff like that? He was already artist when I, before I met him. Oh, before you met yeah, him? he was already doing his music. Oh, so you was doing, how long you been doing the music? Now you're going to get mad. I'm going to call him old. We've been on the scene, like, for a while, man. TNT, True Niggas and Thugs, shout out Lotta Del Lubo, my old clique. We've been doing it for a long time, man. We, I, did, I was in that group for about 10 years, and then started doing my own shit, like, probably, like, 2000, and mm. started doing my own shit, and I've been doing my own shit ever since. Mm. They stopped rapping. So, you would consider yourself one of the last OG rappers, then? No, there's still a lot of dudes from my era that still got love for it that's still doing it so i wouldn't even think i wouldn't even say that all right so when's the last time you got in the studio oh man i've been uh two yeah years, two years yeah, just, you know what i'm saying i feel life like be life in. yeah life be life in, but i feel like the beauty of music is that the youth always carry it on mm-hmm. like you they know, carry on the passion you know what i'm saying because as we get older we start to like i see it with basketball like when i first started playing ball and I got that passion for it again. I was playing every day. You couldn't get me to not want to play. You know what I'm saying? That now that I'm getting older and I, I feel the taxation on my body, it's like, man, I have other things to do. I got money to chase. I got all this other shit to do before I could even focus on this. It's like a pastime now. Trust me. Yeah. I'm spiritual with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like if I don't feel it, I'm not going to force it. So it's been a while since I felt it. So I just been on some other shit though, man. But I got I got a hell of a catalog, catalog though. So shit out there, man. Go check it out. Doctor Debo, Google me, bitch. You put it on YouTube. Yeah. I'm on every platform you can think of. Yeah, man. Shout him out, man. Um, just 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 search it, Doctor Debo. You'll find me. So in terms of like music, right? Do you do like skits or do like dances or anything? I used to try to do the MC Hammer, but bitch, I can't dance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so why would I do any? <laughs> it's a, uh, you know, like a lot of niggas would say they do the, they don't do the dance music, but you can make club music. Like bangers. Yeah, you can make, can, yeah, you can make some, some real. I got club bangers, but I just don't got no, no dance song. No yeah. Dance, like left foot, right. None of that. You know what I'm saying? But you performed on stage before. A, a thousand times definitely so how like all right i'm a nigga who to be honest with you i don't want to say i get stage fright but i had instances where i had like you know you know what you are capable of doing and then certain situations like you don't end up doing it right you know what i'm saying because the nervousness like it, it overtakes you so it's like how do you overcome situations like that when you go on stage you did a thousand times it never gets easier like it's, a, it's always like an out of out of body experience like uh-huh. and then like once you get in, once once i get into the zone i don't even see nobody no more saying? yeah once i hit that stage i don't see nobody i can hear them but i don't see them but if you're not nervous before a show you know what i'm saying you everybody i feel like music is a little nervous, different though it's nerve. You get nervous. yeah but music is a little different because like if you're hearing your own song and there are people out there chanting your Singing lyrics. Shit, yeah. It kind of gives you that yeah, confidence. Right, yeah, 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 it kind of hypes you, you up. But before you go on stage, you're going to be nervous. Yeah, but. they might boo your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you ain't got no buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. right off stage. You those stupid right. ass off stage, boy. Who is this nigga? What? You ever been booed? No. We ain't never been booed. You, you been niggas, like niggas throwing sandwiches at Rod Wade and shit, man. Nice. No, you like, <laughs> you know like, nah, look like a nice nigga. When I first met you, I was like, but who this, this, this big, crazy looking ass nigga look angry? Nah, but when you know him, cool ass nigga, bro, humble nigga, but. Your brother. Struggle, brother. If we struggle together, you my brother for life. Nah, for sure. Facts. I don't want to, I'm, I'm not fucking with you. If we, are we both up, I'm up, you up, and I'm going to sit there and say, you my brother, fuck no. I want to see how you do me when we both fucked up. And I've been there with this dude. 
So that's why I say. Oh yeah, that, that we used to, yeah. Uh, me I used and this to, dude, we was fucked up at the same time. Oh, yeah. And he ain't turning back on me. I ain't turning my back on him. Bro. We used to drink that cheap ass liquor. Be what that beer called? Canadian Hunter. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's Hunter, that old man <laughs> shit. I ain't never meet an old oh, man we, who drunk that. But I'm just saying, fifty had three fifty. I had three fifty. Let's go get us a seven dollars <laughs> <$7 laughs> liter, nigga. Yeah. That, about 31st, bro. Drinking, jamming music, we just talking, talking, yeah, bro. talking about better days. What? <laughs> yeah, I know how it go, bro. We're just trying to get through that. This day, nigga knew me when I was at Walmart. Yeah, bro. but that, that's Come how on. it is. Better days is like knowing that tomorrow is going to be better than today. Like, uh, cool. listen, this nigga knew yeah. when I was at Walmart. When I was at Walmart, bro, I was struggling. I ain't even, mentally, I didn't know I was struggling. I could attest to that, bro. One time, man, I had this bust down van. And I'm talking about I had so much bills. And during the midst of all this shit, it was always breaking down. I go to work and I had to pray. I'm like, please, let's start up when I'm ready to leave, bro. Or else I'm going to have to ask somebody, yo, I need to, I need to jump or something. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. And, bro, I was getting paid only $300 every two weeks, bro. Jeez. Are you still survive when that was 1987. Nah, nah, nah. Me old that, was, that was that was that was 2017, Shit. bro. That was 2017. That's rough, and that's that's another thing that you know what I'm saying. Not a, um, I'm a jack of all trades. Shit, me a truck driver. I do a lot of shit. I do a lot of shit. But um, I feel like I I finally got to a level in life to where I could accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish financially. Um, getting getting the job that I got, I got I got like a fucking dream job. Like, I really make legal drug money. You know what I'm saying? And and that's mm -hmm. cool, man. You ain't gonna struggle forever. You feel yeah, me? especially facts. if you get up every day and you keep going. Well, the, yeah. But the thing is, you don't know you're struggling until you get to do I better. Knew I was struggling. No, I'm saying like you know you're struggling. <laughs> I know I was no, struggling. listen, no, listen. You nah. know you know I'm you know you're struggling. But when you experience that better, you're gonna know how much you how much you were struggling. Nah, I knew I was struggling. Even I knew I was struggling, times, but like even though during t even during those times, bro, when I bring the truck in and they're like, "Oh, it's gonna be a two hundred dollar repair," I'm like, "Damn, oh. bro, that's like all my check <laughs> 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 for real." But you need that hoe. But you need that shit just to go to work. And it was when I finally got that breakthrough and I got a new job. I was like, "Yo." I was making it on that. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you get what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. And that was, for me, that was 2017. And ever since then, I know what my lowest point is. That give you your sense of 2017 for me, too. Oh, 2017? Like, I'm going to tell you the dumb shit. Hey, you better sponsor as Canadian. Hey, yo, I'll have yeah. more fun when I was working at the PMO a bit. Yeah. I was nah. fresh. Too crazy. That's crazy. Then you get money and you're like, man. Shit. You know, you that once you get the money, like, ah. you'll see that. Buying a whole bunch of clothes, buying a whole bunch of jewelry, always going out, spending the money is just a fucking setup anyway. Like, yeah. so once mm -hmm. you get it, you've been there, done that. I've been there, done that. Fuck that. So I get it too. Yeah, nah. When you've never been a go when out you, person, I always beat people up in the club, security and shit. So I just stay home. <laughs> just say this nigga like, say I beat up security yeah, and I shit. Beat up security <laughs> nigga, one of the biggest security niggas. I play ball my whole life. I, I got to take me. So he did that. I hit his hands and threw his hands up, and I grabbed him up under his arms, picked him up, and landed in the wall. His whole ass went in the wall. He was like stuck in the wall. Oh damn! And he thought the security guys, the other guys, was gonna help him, but it was my cousin club. They all know me. He just ain't know who the fuck I was. <laughs> Be careful who you fuck with. You know, yeah, you never know who you fuck with. Damn, so don't. So yeah, the mother niggas was gonna come jump on me. But they was just pulling me off of him because they knew who I was. And as I was getting off of him, I just I ripped the nigga's shirt. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. Then we went outside, he thought the police was gonna get me. It was our um resource officer from high school. Terry, what you doing? Everybody knew me. I was covered. Don't fuck with Dr. Debo. <laughs> and I went home. That's why I don't like going out, bro. I always get in trouble for nothing. I don't even be looking for it. Oh man, nah. I don't know. Listen. Listen. Well, who made up this jam? What is called? Slime. slime. You can tell the slime is hitting. Slime is hitting. He robbed me that bitch up for sure. It's good. I like it. By accident. That's how the best, how the best shit get for made real, by man. accident, yeah, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. made the McRib sandwich by accident. That wasn't supposed to be no rib sandwich. It was supposed to be something else. I don't know what. 
but that McGrill sandwich be fucking good, bro. It is. The McGriddle? With the little like pancakes? Said, nah, McGrill. They so only seasonal. Oh, the, the McGrill? McGrill? Man, I don't know what the nah, fuck that's that steak. is. That one's be fine. Bro, oh, the Salisbury steak thing that they paid. It look like, yeah, it's supposed to be a real bro, That's fake meat, bro. It is. They, 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 they made it by my <laughs> Well, all these guys. The first one? The first celebrity. Bro, what's up, bro? What you doing? Nah, I ain't really invited yet. He be busy. Okay, he ain't that busy. I'm here. We we had we had a few. We had a That's couple artists. Nah, couple. nah, roll, roll my brother. He's yeah. still ain't been on yet. Yeah. Besides, I don't but, be putting no shit, I got a song. I put it. I, I, I shout out all all them boys, man. Like I, I like giving shout outs. Niggas don't do that often. Give flowers, man. If you if you um like a nigga music or or they ain't make it yet mainstream and shit man get them boys flowers man it ain't easy to do you know what i'm saying so, yeah i respect anybody that's doing the shit that's one of the artists that i respect and i respect a whole lot of them. yeah okay you gonna, gonna let us hear a sample before you leave a sample of what your music what you want me to play it from the phone? Or you want me to? No, nah, we we we, 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 we say speaker right there. We say we say that towards the end. I got though. you, man. I got you. You don't want to hear. No, but I I want to hear it. I want to hear it. <laughs> Fuck that, Fuck that nigga. Yo, fifty on that mainstream shit. Listen, that, that's not all right. true. Listen, I got some listen, 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 listen. I like to listen to contemporary type music though. I listen to all, all music. music. Oh, you listen to all music? All okay, too. okay. How you feel about mumble rap? I mean. <laughs> like, you know, it's I like, like I like I like them more than drill rap. I don't like drill rap. Not drill rap. Matter of fact, well, I like drill rap, rap is I like what New York, New York style. Not from, drill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, um, Chicago. Brooklyn? It was really Chicago that Chicago. really brought it back. New yeah, that New York drill rap is horrible. Nah, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Is, this is the only thing I don't like about the, the new music. Even though we was doing that shit too, um, um but it seemed like. Everything is murder, murder music. Nigga, nigga, I got a, the Draco. Who you finna use the Draco on? Another nigga. Even mm-hmm. though, like I said, we had killer bang and bang music in the, yeah. in the 80s and the 90s, but it was different. Niggas had different shit. Niggas were talking about different shit. It was storytelling. All, me, the, all the main motherfuckers, the superstar motherfuckers, or the people that they're pushing it, only talking about killing niggas. Killing niggas, drugs. Money, I mean, I grew up on Wayne. Killing, I grew up on Wayne, and Wayne was always kind of talking about. Black people, you tell me you got to switch for a bitch. I know that bitch you talking about. It's a black bitch, black man. Yeah, because you was not finna shoot no white folks. Yeah, just coward. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like. And I try, I try not to judge, because like I said, we had gangster music too, but we had, but I'm saying gangster rappers had different songs where they weren't talking about killing. Not on every song. You ain't got no love. You don't got no, no days off. <laughs> nah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's it's a it's a dark emotion. I feel like somewhat we all feel it, but that's why I like niggas who talk about making money. Mm-hmm. Like like that's why I like even though Boss Man D'Lo came out and said some things I don't really agree with. Right. I kind of fuck with I fuck with his music because he's always talking about money. The nigga, all the niggas' music sound the same. I don't know what's he, I don't know which one. But he's talking about making that money, I, bro. Every song I hear, I'll be like, that's the same song. I don't know if it changed. Me. That's how I feel about Rod Wave. Yeah. I, I seen I seen yeah. Rod Wave like, singing I, about I, pain. But, I kind of it's kind of. I seen somebody was like, man, this motherfucker singing about pain. That shit. He got a wife and a new baby on the way. He living in a big nice house. He happy. Fuck him. <laughs> so it was like. But I'm just saying. But the music is beautiful, man. I love the music, man. I, you like Kodak, man? I never dislike. I never dislike Kodak ever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> never. I never yeah. dislike Kodak. Kodak got my group music in his DNA. Why I say that? DC Studios. That's my first cousin. And the studio that's called DC Studios was in my mama's house. That's my studio. I bought the equipment. And... um. It was that started at my mama house, my group. That's what we recorded at. And we had a little BR8, little digital recorder. It was a little eight track, and I was just simple with it. But my cousin came, and he just did some, mm-hmm. some shit with this fucking little box. Mm-hmm. And I said, fuck that. The studio going to your house, Because <laughs> people like, what studio y'all was at? Did this at? We in my room and shit. Yeah. And he grew that shit, and he was like, man, cuz I want to record other people. And I'm like, go ahead, man. I, I'm still driving trucks. He quit his job to do that. So I freed him. I feel like I'm a good, I'm a, 
I freed a black man before mm-hmm. in my life. You know yeah, 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 yeah. He he should be way better off than he is right now because he done blew up so many motherfuckers and nobody ain't got that bag on him yet. But he got eye candy right now, and I know eye candy not gonna do him wrong. So hopefully he get his bag on this one. But all that shit that blew ca- um, Kodak up came right up out of our studio, DC studio. So yeah, I never, I never uh, dislike. You know what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> I ain't lying, though. I got Kodak in my shit right now. I'll tell you right now. Oh, God. I got hella Kodak in my shit. I don't got hella, but you got a lot of <laughs> <laughs> I don't got hella, but I got a lot. But you making money and shit. Yeah. It's an artist that I um, I played football in, in Michigan, in uh, Northwood. University of Michigan. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Michigan. 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 Shout out to so this is one is this nigga I'm listening to right now that's what he talking about. He's talking about money and empowerment and shit. A nigga named Payroll, Payroll Giovanni. Payroll that's Giovanni. I to a lot of payroll. Grown man music. You know what I'm saying? Tap in he right now. Blueprints on how to get this shit. My boy said, I ain't killed ten niggas in the verse, but I bet you I'll show you how to make ten K. Before we get off our topic, but rappers as far as you what? I just hear you down yourself. See, that's how I know you're guilty of never listening to none of my albums. Because if you listen to one of my albums, you'll know who the fuck inspired me. So the your your E forty caught him. Your fucking assignment today is your 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 homework today is to <laughs> your homework. I got music. My bad. Well, go go on YouTube. I don't got YouTube. Go on Google. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. <laughs> but um, like I said, I'm from Lauderdale, man. Like, but. I got older siblings, uh, older sister, older brother, and I used to have to um, listen to or watch what the fuck they watch, and all they did was watch Yo MTV raps, bust it out. So mm-hmm. that's what made me fall in love with. I was I, I saw when hip hop started taking off, and all the New York niggas just blowing up. Slick Rick, Big Daddy Kane, Kid and Play, all that shit was salt and pepper. All that I'm like, what yeah, the yeah. fuck, Biz Marquis? I got saw that, see that shit as a jit five years old so me and my cousin mdc and my cousin robinson we've been rapping since we was like fucking five years old our first song we had a, back then y'all just don't know about this technology we had two boom boxes they had tapes cassettes where you could push record on one boom box and play music from another boom box we played the beat from one boom box and that shit will record the audio and our voice so that's how that was like our first studio I was five years old, bro. Me, DC, and my cousin Robinson, bro. So I've been inspired. That's what inspired me. But then when I heard fucking JT Money, mm-hmm. fuck the Poison Clan, Uncle Luke, now Trick. Yeah, he's out of Lockdown called Sounds of Profit SOP. That was the first underground nigga. And when I seen them do it, that's what made me feel like you could do this shit. Too. Feel like it say nothing. Yeah, I wouldn't say one nothing, but you could do it. Didn't you? <laughs> they got money. Though. That's real though. Doing their thing. A lot of inspiration. Yeah, over the over my life, what made me love music and made me want to. Nah, but I'm I'm sure when you walked on stage for the first time and you like you're just pursuing your music career, you're just like, oh shit, I can really do this shit. Like it really pushed you to keep going. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody ever starting nothing just like how we got here. Ain't nobody ever start nothing and then they seen signs and then they just stop. They stop. Yeah. yeah like it happens though. People do stop. Yeah. But I got a weird story. Like, cause we didn't start here. Like, well, like I said, I've I been rapping. I used to freestyle in high school, but it's, I started a group in college mm. and we are football players. So we was already fucking popular as shit. Yeah. So when we actually did our first show and we rocked that shit and I was like, bitch, when we left that show, we went straight back to the to the booth, and we just kept on making fucking music ever since. So I didn't have that um, underground artist just, I'm going to the club for the first time, and I'm trying my music, and I'm scared now. We was we was already... Yeah, you was already popular. used to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once we did our first show, but when we came home with it and we was rocking all the clubs, we also had an underground radio station, 94.5 in, La- in, um, in Lauderdale. Well, shout out to my cousin Disco. He came up with the idea. I said, "Fuck it, let's do it." I remember that. Yeah, and then I was. A, that's Tough. where. That's where my name come from. Yeah, uh, Debo because they had. I uh, thought you was beating niggas up. Nah, nah, nah. He got a question. Where you from? I'm from here, but where? Uh, like plantation. 
I'm moving around, around for a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even really get the coke, you know what I mean? Right, right, the underground yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking coke. So, like, for you, like, what's, so for someone who's never heard your music, like, right. what's that one song that you would play at? You know what I mean? Like, that. You know See, it depends on what kind of, um, it depends on what kind of music that person, what kind of rap that person like. Because I got storytelling shit. Um, I say, you know, you can tell who I'm influenced by. I'm, I'm influenced by that that um, era where they took their time with their music. We still had fucking pads and we wrote our shit down. We weren't writing our shit on no phone or no iPad or nothing like that. But who you like? Let's, right. let's throw some songs out there that you like, man. I mean, Future just oh, there's a couple. Oh, you like Future? Oh, like, Future just like dropped, man. Right? Oh. But that album he just dropped was really good. With Metro Boomin? Yeah, that's just. Let me look at a couple songs that came out on there that I like. No. No, so what's what's wrong? Everyday right hustle, that? I like that one with okay. Rick Ross. Me, oh, can, everyday you hustle. We don't okay. trust so, you. So, so actual question, you. like what, what he asked me was, what song that you can't live without? Like I got to tell me one time, a, one you know time a day or some type shit. I'm, a, I'm not a man of favors though. Like I like so many okay, things. Yeah, so, okay, okay, okay. Like that too. It, I can it, get it, stuck it on some shit for a while. But like I said, I don't, I don't know. You said future, like I don't, I don't. I don't even like future though. But like that's the album right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um. You from playing Nah, I fuck with Future, bro. I, you I mean, tripping. Oh, I definitely fuck with Future. Example, yeah. I, I like Kendrick. I like J. Cole. Right? I love um, Kendrick, I, number one for I me. Like Baby, J. Cole, number one. I, yeah. I like a little bit of everything. I like Kodak. J. Cole. Bro. I like Variety. What? I don't what? like just... No, J. Cole I raw, but he can't be number one. Not for me. Just talking about... I love good kind The hood life. I got a song called Borrow Time, where I talk about... I tell the story of this young lady growing up in the city, and... And a and a jack boy growing up in the city, just two different life stories of people that I actually seen this shit with my own eyes, and I just turned it into a story. But um, I got that crunk shit. Um, I could articulate my words on mumble and shit, so you could hear everything I'm saying. Yeah, I gotta um, <laughs> he throw it back. I, but if I just say if I'm gonna just throw a song kind of out aggressive there, though. You're kind of aggressive at times though. Yeah, you right. I, 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 I <laughs> with, but if I, for for you, I play um, Ghetto Men in Black. That's that's what one of my theme songs is black. I I like black, so oh, I got a, a lot of songs about black. Oh, um, where, about black, the color black. So ghetto men in black is something that I'll play for y'all for you, just yeah. to introduce you to my music. I might even I might even tap into that one just because you said that. Yeah. I like black, bro. Mm-hmm. It's a girl, so right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, hey, nigga, rap it down. Is that nigga mad? <laughs> <laughs> but it fluctuates though. I don't stay at that. I don't stay at that level. I used. I don't stay at that level. It fluctuates. I like that kind of music though. Yeah, like yeah. I will listen to that before I hoop because it, it just gives you <laughs> right. of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, you know it's funny you bring that up. Like there was a um, there was this one game I had back in college because I used to get slept on by my teammates. Yeah. And the whole time I'm hey, listening. Jamaica? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nah, bro. At the time, bro, I wasn't that good. Okay, okay, okay. And I got you. I remember I was listening. Like I was, I was just, I was in the trenches. Right. I was oh. just here. <laughs> <laughs> you heard? You finally heard? Him? I, I recognize what he said. Yeah, I just had to just give him that good. straight face look real quick. Um, when I was going up that day, like I remember my teammates like, ah, oh, this nigga might not get no minutes. I'm sitting there listening to Drake. <laughs> <laughs> and at the time he dropped I'm that going home. he dropped <laughs> I'm going home. Oh <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's not what you did. <laughs> I'm going home. Nah, that's not what I was listening to though. I was listening to that one song where he was like, I can't um it was on the More Life mixtape. I know a, a lot of people had mixed feelings about that. No, I like but he had he had a, like he had a couple bangers. It was like can't get enough. Yeah, and bro, I remember I was listening to that, and I'm here thinking how I'm. I felt like I was being slept on, right? Because in practice, I was killing niggas, bro. Right, but yeah. it's just I couldn't get no time in the game, and I remember we get the shoot arounds, and I'm not missing. Right, and coach is still not seeing. Like I'm still listening to Drake. I'm just in my vibe. I'm. Hitting, hitting shots, hitting shots. Nobody's seeing. So game starts, and then one of my teammates was like, "I'm not gonna lie, bro. Jordan was hit during the shoot arounds. I think we should put him in the game." And 
It was like the last 30 seconds of the first quarter. They put me in the game. And my coach, he didn't even really too much. He was like, I don't know why we putting this nigga in. Because it's like 30 seconds in, we need a quick bucket. He's like, all right, Jordan, run it. So we running it. And at first, you know, like when you're getting into the game, yeah, yeah, you got that emotion. So I'm trying to, I'm like, yo. No, none of my teammates, because they're not used to me being on the floor with them. They're not, like, passing. They don't even see me for real. They're like, oh, fuck yeah, you yeah, what the fuck you doing out here? Set the screen, nigga. So I set the screen, and I'm like, bro, 30 seconds left. So it was like five seconds. I'm like, you know what? If nobody's going to pass me the ball, I'm going to grab this shit. I ran, grab this shit. I start running down the court. I see the clock. They start cutting down, and I just launch that shit. From a little bit past half court, right. that shit hit the backboard, went in. So everybody's like, oh, shit. This nigga. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't stand these hypocrite-ass <laughs> niggas. Ass. Like, like niggas, before the whole time, y'all wouldn't give me the ball. Now I'm hitting the shot. Now y'all want to, like, y'all should have gave me that opportunity earlier. You feel me? But it kind of threw back to what you were saying. Sometimes the music. Like, oh, that's part. It gives you that inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like that game, like it inspired me to like, all right, no matter what my teammates are doing, I'm finna just go get my own bucket. What? And they had to respect me from that point moving forward. Yeah. Music just you know gets you through anything, dude. Like yeah. we down and we up and whatever. That niggas kill me when I'm going home, bro. I'm not finna jam no hardcore at me. I'm finna throw the R and B on, nigga. Fuck what you niggas oh, talking about. <laughs> Throw this, finna throw this RB on you fuck ass nigga, nigga. What up, what up, what up, I'm going home to go to sleep. Throw that piss on a bitch music. Yes, sir. Piss on a bitch. Piss on me, bitch. <laughs> Yo, this nigga really brought R. R. Kelly you back in. Oh, <laughs> shit. No. Don't act like you like Kelly, bro. You. You don't like R. Kelly? Bitch, I'm just saying this song. I'm just saying oh, this song. I sound like you hate it. How? Oh, you throw that piss on me music. Yeah, you say you don't throw that R and B music. That's why I said the piss on you. Put that piss on me music. Piss on her music. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I still be funky R Kelly. That's my nigga. Fuck what they talking about. If y'all listen, let Kells out. Any any black person, let Kells out. Put Puffy in. Listen, any black person, any black person born in the eighties and nineties, today they don't bump Kelly. You lying. You lying. Like, these 2,000 babies, I get it, because y'all never grew up on that shit. They still love it. Nah, some of them, they'll be capping. So they be capping. You know what? Hey, capping, you know what? Don't, bump the, don't bump the songs he wrote, too. He wrote a lot of people's music. Yeah, don't bump that either. Yeah, Facts. Facts. No he, so he wrote a lot of people's music. So don't bump that shit either. You know what I'm saying? He wrote a lot of Beyonce music. Oh, don't down no Beyonce. Beehive. What the <laughs> fuck you talking about? <laughs> Shoot, Michael Jackson. Shit. No, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. He, Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, even Michael Jackson. What? Yeah, you know, it's so funny. Like, I think him and Michael Jackson were going on between the king of R&B. Was it him? Nah, man. Nah, no, or Michael. Michael's the king of pop. Yeah. Michael's the king of pop? Yeah. Kells is the king of R&B. And if anybody opened their mouth and said, well, it was Bobby Brown at first. Bobby Brown, but okay. then when Kells... No, nah, I'll tell you, I cut a lot of weight. No, 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 but when, when they was calling Bobby Brown the king of R&B. He was doing his thing. He was, it was the 80s, yeah. early 90s. But yeah. when Kel dropped that 12 pay in 1993. Oh, it was over with. Shit. Yeah, off with up. his head. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Off with his fucking head. Oh, man. Boy, boy what? 93, bro. I she remember dead, that shit. Boy. To the, to the, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Gangsters yeah. in the cut in the trap is jamming this nigga music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah oh my god. Bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. R, R. Kelly, R. Kelly was that nigga, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Despite all of what we heard. I ain't gonna say the same about Diddy. I'm not judging them niggas personal life. I can't do it. I'm just I'm just gonna listen to the music. Bro. Nah, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, you know what you're right. Cause one of my favorite artists right now, nigga be wearing sus ass shit. I but I fuck, I fuck with his music. I fuck with his music, man. Fuck they talking about. <laughs> Yuck. You listen to that? that nigga yes, has, bro. I don't, I don't understand. Why, why you turn your head like that? Nah, Playboy Cardi so bad. Bro. No, bro. That sounds terrible. But listen, you just have, have to have an ear for certain people like G. Uh, G I like, I like. like. People love him. I'm like. I, I like G Herbo, Herbo too. I, 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 bro, I fuck with G Herbo. Not, 
I, I fuck with G Herbal. G Herbal is crazy. Nah, G Herbal is crazy. Listen, y'all don't fuck with her. Fuck no. I can't get G like, like Michael Blackson said. I can't get G in this shit. Who am I upset with right you now? So, you listen to the dirt. You listen to the dirt. No you don't like know. G Herbo? Listen. Bro, how are we friends, hey, bro? You like G Herbo, C Ro? Oh, yeah, my uh, dog, my dog. I know. Sing a G Herbo song. Nigga, huh? Sing a G Herbo yeah, song right now. I'm the man now. I can sing that shit. Like, 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 uh, yeah, I'm the man now. Uh, how I go? How I go? So it's repetitive as so fuck. You, you just keep saying I'm the man now yeah. over and over yeah, and over? Yeah, for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. You like Herbo with Dirk? Nah, I don't even. You, you like her? Damn, you had to think that long. I fuck with Dirk. I fuck with Dirk. I fuck with Dirk. I fuck with Dirk. Nah, because I had to. Nah, that's what I had to think about. I like underground Dirk. I like underground Dirk versus Dirk now. I like underground Dirk versus now. When the jet skis over here on the intercoastal, I'm by. But you asked me to name a song by G Herb, but without hesitation, I give you a song. Dirk. No, I, I I didn't say that. I just asked a question. No, oh. because Dirk was already dropping bangers from Man, way back when. I don't know. Music, music is you know music, what I'm saying? But I respect everybody. Nah, but hold on now. Nah. You 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 listen to Playboy Cardi before, right? Uh, you like 21? I listen to Playboy. I love. 21. I love 21. Okay. I love nah, 21. so how how I, would you how would you have an opinion? Like, how would you have an opinion on something not, you never heard that's before? What I'm saying, but I, what I've heard, I've heard I did not like, and I did not. I like can't listen to it. If I can't listen, I to like it, songs I can't that G Herbo has a feature on. But let me okay. tell you something. Not gonna lie. I did not like Twenty One Savage at first. No, I like Twenty One Savage. I didn't I like him. I did not I like him at general. first. I'm like this. I fought with Twenty One. Sound illiterate as fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight M's in my bank account. In my bank account. <laughs> I said, "What the fuck?" That shit tough. <laughs> His first song. Listen, dog. Yeah. I'm just telling you. At first, I was like, "What the fuck I, is this nigga?" Talking about like, and, then, mm. and then that nigga well, clear front look like a bell. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, stop it, bitch. Yeah, I, like <laughs> I, I fuck with, fuck with 21, dog, I was fucking with 21 since No Heart. That's it. No Heart. Yeah. That's shit. That's what I'm saying. See, yeah. you early, bro. Yeah. You know, I'm older than y'all. So once the mumble rap came out and then the niggas rapping our beat, well, we had the first rapper so how- beat rapper, Silk the Shocker. He was Sorry to interrupt, bro. How, but how you feel about Uzi? Lil Uzi Vert. Like Crazy you would like Uzi, but you can't fuck with Cardi. I like the music. They dress the same day. Like hey, listen. Bit, though, I Uzi, like Uzi got some fucking bangers. Nah, All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. Bitch, when he dropped that shit, I said, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but nah, that's why I say I don't judge these people, bro. But if you, if you drop a, a song that I like, I'm going to jam it. But yeah. I have G Herbo. I ain't, he ain't catch me yet. Um, Cardi, Cardi, what his name is? Cardi B? No. Oh, <laughs> Playboy Cardi. Cardi, Cardi B. B. That's my dog. <laughs> nigga. I listen to Cardi B. No, I watch her. So if you got a banger, I'm a music man. And I hear it. And they catch me. You got me. But mm. them niggas, them, they haven't got me yet. Cardi, Playboy Cardi is terrible. They, oh, haven't, they haven't caught me yet. I'm tired you of know, these niggas. Know, this is my artist. Hold on. You know who I didn't like? Who I didn't like, and he finally did. <laughs> nigga, shut up. Yeah. Um, Key Glock, Young Dolph. Cut. Hey, Key Glock, damn it, bro. No. I did not <laughs> like the nigga because I'm like, man, this just this just Dolph cousin sidekick. That nigga. Then I heard this song called Jigsaw. Mm. Key Glock, this nigga Key Glock, he got. Uh, so like Key I said, Glock. nah, Key Glock does some to shit. Those guys today, just to make sure. But you hear everybody you named, I've list, I listen to them. Right. Like I'm not a one track minded person. Like even though I name one person that I prefer, I like his I music. Know, I ain't listen none of the shit from New York though. I hot. listen to everything, oh, bro. Hot. Like I got cousins. Like one thing about it is, just like how you know, T. Raw got a whole bunch of like kids around him. It's the same way. Like I got a lot of like nephews, younger nephews. They put me on with music. I'm listening to some Playboy Cardi and um. Uh... I throw on and some I, right now, man. When we when we when we, when we end this cast, I throw on some right now. Now we're not doing we're not doing that. Not doing that? Nah, cause we gonna stick to the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Debo is here. We play some of my shit. Fuck that. <laughs> oh yeah, we did agree to that. We did, we did. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta close it out, man. Yeah, we're gonna close it out. Man, Dr. Debo. What's happening? Man, man, tell the people where to find you on the social. Hey man, um, 
dr underscore d e b o nine five four on on Instagram and uh, TikTok, oh, TikTok TikTok on TikTok. Uh, yeah, and um, if you're looking for that music, YouTube, Google, Doctor Debo is everywhere, man. As soon as you, as soon as you hit it, hey, what's the other name? You'll see some shit. What other name? Fat Black. Yeah. Oh, Fat Black. That's yeah. the moniker. Yeah, that's yeah. one of my monikers. Fat Black. <laughs> you gotta say it right. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. This this is another podcast, man. We gave you a little bit of everything. We gave you the music. We gave new you set up. Fuck they new about set up. You know what I'm saying? From the bottom, now yeah. we here. Oh God, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Proud of these boys, boys, man. Good shit. Good shit, my niggas. Yeah, While I'm yeah. here, to support the brand. Go ahead, shop J. Oh man. yeah, man. Humble visionary, yes, man, my boy. We had humble visionary last episode, man. You see, Fifty finally got his shirt. Yes, sir. Ski. He missed out last episode, yeah, but <laughs> he got his shirt for this episode, man. I'm a visionary, man. Bottom of my HV boss. HV boss. And you know where to find us, man. J Stu at the Don J Stu on IG, man. You can find oh, me yo, there. Mr. Red Cup 50. His Red Cup Saturdays. And Mr. Money Red Thoughts. Red and now we got Mr. Money Thoughts behind the, the set right there. Y'all already know, man. Stay positive, stay motivated. Fuck, nigga. Oh, God. <laughs> man, we out. <laughs>